one of the many, 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 many things that is so remarkable about Renaissance of Florence was that they decorated all their public buildings with these amazing pieces of art. And citizens took great pride in being able to um, be patrons of the art. This is the Doubting Thomas done by Morecchia. It is one of his most best known uh, pieces of sculpture, um, largely because it so exemplifies his concept that if you had the figures in a sculpture moving, uh, that that would convey their emotions. Doubting Thomas, of course, didn't believe that Christ had risen again, and he wishes to touch the hole within or the Christ's body that had come from the soldiers spearing him while before he was crucified. And Verogo very much believed that by having uh, Thomas moving forward, reaching out to try to touch that hole in question, that it would really convey that emotion. Now this is on the outside of a building court called the Orsan Michel, which was the granary, uh, basically, in the middle of Florence. It is where guilds had various alcoves like this one, that they could commission pieces of art to um, commemorate their patron saints. Uh, the guilds were tremendously important to um, Florence and its government and its way of life, and that is part of what made it very much a republic. One of the other amazing sculptures contained on the outside of the Orson Michel's walls was uh, Donatello's St. George, which was um, uh, very compelling and uh, groundbreaking in that it looks right down at the passers by. But this was done by Verrocchio for the Mercanza, which were the, um, the tribunal that basically settled disputes among merchants.